Hey you guys, hope everyone's having a great day out there. Today I want to take a look at something that our friends over at YourSeek have sent us. And uh, as you can see here, I've got the box with me. You can see the box is empty because I've actually had it out testing prior to even shooting this video so I can kind of show you guys about it and show you some of the cool features about it. So let's go ahead and turn you around so you can see what we're looking at. So what we got here is an OBD2 code reader. And like I say, you can see I've already got it out of the package. You can see here we've got a USB cord. I'll explain that here in a second. We've also got the instruction booklet I've been taking a look at. But you can see hiding in here. I've got the actual code scanner that they sent us over. And like I said, I've just been testing with it already so I can kind of give you guys an idea of how it works, how I like it. And I gotta say, it works well, guys. So this little guy right here, I'm gonna leave a link down below to Amazon so you can check this out. So this little guy here is a very powerful tool. Obviously, it's an OBD2 code scanner. So I can scan codes on any vehicle that has an OBD2 sensor on it, which most of them are down here by your kick panel, somewhere down here. You can see I've got my amp steps plugged in here. So if I unplug this, you're just looking under your dash on the driver's side for this guy right here. This truck has it. The O4 over there has it. My wife's car has it. I think if a vehicle's newer than 96, They've pretty well got it. Like I said, this guy here can scan codes so you can see what's wrong with your vehicle. And it does more than just that. Most of the scanners out there on the market will just simply show you the code and then you can Google it. This guy here actually tells you what the code is and what the issue is. Not only that, but as you can see, it's got a port for the USB. And the idea behind this is that whenever new vehicles come out, you can take your USB cord, get online from, uh, at your seek, and you can actually download new files to put on here. So this will be future-proofed in the sense that, uh, let's say in 2023, new vehicle comes out. Well, it's got new error codes, and you can actually update this thing so it'll be ready for you whenever those new vehicles come out. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this guy in, turn my truck on so you guys can see how this works. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to put the key to the on position as if I was gonna run it. Take this guy here, crawl, look under here. It's pretty easy to line up, you can see. Plug it in like so. What we'll do, keep the noise to a minimum. Close the door. So I'm gonna peek over here. You can see another really nice thing about this guy here is it's backlit. So even if you're working in the dark, maybe in a shop that's not well lit, you've got your screen there, very bright backlit so you guys can tell already just looking at the screen there's a bunch of different functions and it's really easy there's only four keys you got to worry about just making sure i got the lighting right here guys so the very first one we'll just kind of run through it diagnose if i hit that it's going to scan the vehicle kind of figure out what it is got your information about your system here i'm going to hit you can see we got total codes one i'm gonna hit enter again so let's read the codes and current dtcs ah look at that we've got a code here Evaporative Emission System Vent Control Circuit. That's what I was saying. I could Google this code and figure out what it is, but it also gives me an idea of what it is here. And I actually did know there was something going on with this truck because every once in a while the service engine light will come on and uh, it typically clears itself out either by removing the battery or driving it for a while. But I can use this and look and see if there's any pending, if there's any permanent in there. Good deal. We don't have any permanent ones but I can actually read this code and figure out what is wrong with my pickup and what needs addressed. And then once I've got it addressed, or if I just simply want the check engine light to go off, I can erase the code. It ask me if I'm sure, and then I can hit enter. Boom, and then it's cleared out. Pretty cool. So if you have a check engine light, and typically I think what that code is, I'm gonna have to research it, but it seems like most of the time, honestly, it's just the gas cap back here. So tighten that dude up, and then if I don't want to wait or remove the battery, which is kind of a pain, I can literally pull out my code scanner and erase the code, which will turn the check engine light off. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to come back and show you some of this stuff later, but while the truck's not running, I want to jump back out here and show you one thing that's kind of unique to this, and I think is really neat. It has a battery health option. So I can click on this and see how many volts my battery has. It'll even tell me. It's in a good state right now. So let's hop in the truck. I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way. I'm sitting here, I'm actually gonna crank it on. 
And as you can see, no check engine light. That's really nice. We'll go back here. Another thing we can do, if we're trying to figure out something with our battery, maybe we're thinking our battery's bad. Maybe we're thinking the alternator's bad. If I were to run this battery health again, I can see it's getting 15 volts right now, which for this truck is actually normal. But you can tell if you go down, it'll give you some information. You can see before starting, if you're that low, you know your battery's low. We can run down here all the way to page seven or six. You can see after starting, if you're in that range, you might still be too low. And then after starting normal. So see, we're almost normal, 14.8 volts. We're putting out 15. So I'm not too concerned about this. Um, and see, it even tells you if it's over 14.8 14 volts, too high might damage the battery. Please check the engine stabilizer. I'm not too worried on this pickup. That's really cool that you can kind of see how much charge your truck's getting. Cool right here. So going back to the diagnose, once we get in here, you can see our codes cleared out. I'm gonna enter again. You can do a readiness test and we can do it since the DTCs were cleared. And you can see all sorts of information about this So for instance, you can see the misfire monitor shows we're okay. We're not having any issues there. If we go back a little bit, we can look at live data on the vehicle. It's gonna download all that information here. We'll do a readiness test. This information right here will kind of tell you if you're ready for an emissions check, which is really neat. You can refer to this if you want to check it yourself before taking it somewhere to take a look at it. You can do a DTC lookup. So like that code earlier, if we weren't sure what something might be, we can actually enter a code in here and it'll give us an idea of what the error is. So I just put in something generic here, 2000, and it shows you can see there's a code for it. So it keeps a bank of all this stuff really neat. So going back up, we can also look at the settings here. We can change our language if we want to, our unit set, our unit system settings, which basically is from metric to US units. I'm gonna change it to US since we are in the US, but that's really cool that you can do that. And also you can look at some tool information, kind of look at the firmware, the serial number on this thing right here. So this is a pretty cool tool, guys. So if we go back to the diagnose and I press enter and jump back over here, I can even do an O2 sensor test, freeze frame data. We can scroll down a little bit more, look at the onboard monitoring, different things here, different components, your cats, your VAP systems. I mean, it's got a ton of stuff where you monitor cylinders, see what's going on there. I mean, this is a powerful tool right here. We can look at our evaporative, evaporative system We can look at the vehicle information, which this is pretty cool right here. I can actually pull my VIN right from here, calibrate the ID. That's just kind of a quick example of what this little tool right here can do. So to give you a quick look at the box here, like I said, here's the actual USB cord. It's pretty good quality actually. So you can plug this right into your Windows-based laptop to download new files to put to this guy as new vehicles come out year to year. Um, the box here, you can see kind of the front, some of the stuff that it does, which we just looked at, read and clear trouble codes. You can see the live data stream on your vehicle, the battery health check, which is really cool. Uh, your readiness check for, for if you're going to get inspection, you got a codes library, as well as the software update with the USB there. Here's some information on the back. And I really like that it's multi-language, so this really could go anywhere in the world and work for you. And here's the instruction manual, which I like because it's pretty short, sweet, kind of gives you a brief description of how to use it. It's really easy. You've also got right here on the back, you can go to their website and they give you an email address. So if you're having issues or not understanding something, you can email, you can email them and they'll get right back with you guys on whatever issue you might be having. If you're not understanding something or how to use it, they're more than happy to help you. So guys, I'm gonna leave a link down below to this exact OBD2 scanner slash battery health checker on Amazon. So this is just a little bit under 30 bucks. Very powerful tool for under $30. I mean, that's a no brainer. This literally is just great. Even if, even if you don't have a huge need for 
one of these, you're not doing a lot of work on vehicles, just to simply clear your check engine light for something silly like mine with a uh, with the gas cap not being tight or on there, 30 bucks is a no brainer, guys. But if that doesn't sound good enough, I've actually got a code for you guys. Our friends at YearSeek have actually given us a code. If you use the link down below, as well as the code that I'm gonna leave down there, you can get 15% off this. So that's gonna save you guys a few bucks if you decide that you need one of these right here. So guys, if you're in the market for a good code scanner that's not gonna break the bank, then definitely check out what we're leaving in the link in the description. Be sure to use that coupon code, that way you guys can save a few bucks, get it even cheaper than its already low, great price. And I wanna thank my friends at YearSeek for sending this out to us to have us test. It's working great so far on the 2014 Silverado, as well as the 04 Duramax over there. I've checked the batteries, ran codes. Luckily, we're all good on the Duramax. And we just figured out what our code is here on the truck that we had, as we saw in this live demonstration. So thanks guys for helping us make this video possible. Stay tuned guys, we got a lot more videos coming that I'm excited to share with you guys. Until next time, take care.